welcome to Megan's Cooking. Today I'm going to show you a Vietnamese dish and it's called Honey Coconut Calorized Chicken. And we are going to use the chicken thigh bone in with the skin on. Okay? The ingredients for this dish, the main thing is the coconut natural juice and the honey. Now if you can't find the fresh coconut, you can always buy coconut soda and this uh, can substitute the fresh coconut. So we have coconut juice, we have honey, brown onions, garlic, green onion chop, chili. This dish is a little bit spicy, so I have some chili. And we have soy, I'm sorry, we have fish sauce, we have sugar, uh, vegetable oil, and these three items are for garnish. So we're gonna eat the chicken with the cucumber and tomato. We have a little bit of dipping sauce, just in case you want more flavor to the chicken. And the cilantro and the green onion julienne is for garnish. Now okay. is this a fried dish or a baked dish? It's a sear pan fried. Ooh. And it's gonna slow cook for about 20 minutes to caramelize the sauce. And so the coconut juice will soak into the chicken and caramelize it at the end with the honey. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is to marinate four pieces of chicken thigh. First of all, I'm gonna pour in the sauce the wet juice, that's the fish sauce, the sugar, one tablespoon sugar, fish sauce is one and a half, and we also need one and a half tablespoon of the oil, this just to moisture the chicken. Then the garlic, this is about four cloves. You don't have to chop finely because we're gonna caramelize it later. And of course we're gonna need the red pepper chili. You can use one or two up to your spiciness. And then we use uh, about four white part of the green onions. So now I'm going to mix up the sauce. Now the longer you let it sit, the better marinade soak into the sauce. But in this case, if you want to put it overnight, that's even better. Okay? So we are going to let it sit in this marinade bowl for about 20 minutes. Alright, so 20 minutes have passed and now I am going to start pan sear the chicken. Let's turn on. I'm gonna put in maybe just about one tablespoon of cooking oil. Don't want to put too much because the, the chicken already have the fat in the skin already. So I'm gonna make sure that it's evenly, evenly in the pan, frying pan. And we're going to start pan sear with the chicken with the skin down first. And we're gonna cook it just for about two or three minutes each side for now. So I'm gonna shake out the excess sauce. We don't need too much sauce on the chicken. Just so people know, she's not saying it's done in two or three minutes. No. <laughs> just we just wanna start sear it for about two or three minutes. Then we're gonna slow cook with the coconut juice for about one minute. We just want to sear so it has a little crunchiness to the skin. Okay. 
each time I started cooking, I wish you can smell the, the juice, the aroma of the spot going up very nicely. Okay. So I have it here, medium high heat, to steer for two or three minutes, then I'm going to turn it over for another two or three minutes. And we're going to use this leftover juice later along with the rest of the marinade with the coconut juice and the lemon. So let's, I'm sorry, the honey is going to thicken the sauce and we're going to analyze with the brown onion and juice. Okay? Wow, this smells good. Okay, so it's, it's around two, three minutes now. It's kind of brown and golden brown the bottom. I'm going to flip it over. How beautiful that is. The color. This one is that. Mm. Oh, this one is that. Yeah. Mm. 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 We'll cook another two, three minutes. Then we're gonna lower the heat and we add the coconut juice to the to steamer. It looks beautiful. Okay, can you check the other side? Look like brown is pretty good. This one. Four pieces already here, put in brown the back. So now I'm gonna throw in the brown onion. And in the brown onion, I'm gonna mix the chicken, caramelize with the juice. Here I have one and a half cup, one and a half cup of the coconut juice. I'm gonna pour it in. And we're going to let it simmer for 20 minutes with the lid cover. It's been about 20 minutes now, so I'm going to check. We simmer for 20 minutes with the medium heat. And now I'm going to add the honey to the sauce so that it will caramelize the chicken with the coconut juice, okay? So I have about one and a half tablespoon of the honey. Reasoning it in here. And we're gonna cook for another five to 10 minutes until the sauce is thickened. So I did flip it over back and forth during the 20 minutes to make sure that it's evenly cooked. And you can see the bottom is pretty well cooked. And good thing that we seared the chicken earlier so that the meat's tightening is not as loose as we cooked it. So it still keep the shape and the skin and the shape. So now you can see the sauce is about to caramelize. See it started to bubbling up. Once it starts thickening a little bit more, then I'm going to add the remaining uh, marinated sauce so that it will mix up the new flavor of the chicken. So we let it simmer for another five to ten minutes until it thickens. Okay. Okay. So it looks like a bubbling, thickening the sauce. I am going to add the remaining marinade sauce on here, and we're gonna stir it in so that that one has a fresh flavor. Okay. 
and a wonderful. Yep. See how pretty it is when you start thickening. And I like the onion to cook with the sauce for a little bit browning. And don't want to be overcooked. So I'm gonna ship it around so that I make sure all the sauce I mix well, coat it well with the chicken. I'm gonna flip one more time so that I pick up the bottom. The other side of the chicken. And we're ready to serve. Look at that. Beautiful. Caramelized the coconut juice and the honey mix perfectly well. That's pretty good. Coconut and honey chicken, caramelized very nicely, shiny. And I also have my heart rice, which is coconut love. I'm going to place a couple pieces on here to serve, okay? Dinner is ready. We have two pieces of caramelized honey and coconut chicken. And definitely this is for tomorrow's dinner. I hope you enjoy watching my video and you will give this recipe a try and tell me how it turned out. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you again next time. Bye.